One of the things I've wasted literally years of my life doing was trying to force things to happen in the way that I wanted them to happen. This started off at age 18 where it was important for me to become successful with women. I, for the life of God, could not approach women while I was alone. But I've had this voice in my head that just told me, look dude, you have to do it alone. <laughs> now when I was with other people, it was very, very easy for me to approach women. I don't know why, it just came naturally. But I decided, no, I want to do it the hard way. I want to do it alone. And then I would waste night after night after night after night, months, not taking action and hating myself. This happened to me in sales, happened to me uh, pretty much sales and success with women. <laughs> That's like the biggest two places it happened to me. Although I know a lot of people where it happens to them with uh, the gym, working out, for example. What I found out was that it's completely unnecessary to force yourself to do something one way. It's time that you're going to regret. So don't focus on doing it your specific way if you find it too hard to actually start. Let's say it's very hard, but it's doable, that's good. But if it's so hard that you can't even start, either lower the criteria or find another way to do it. Because trust me, this time you're not taking action is time wasted. What I call this is loving the struggle more than the goal. It's like you think that because you're suffering, because you feel so bad, that means you're, you're moving forward. It means you're doing something. But that's not like that, you know? Forward progress only happens when you take action. And, you know, you get so invested in that it, happens, it has to happen in a certain way. But it doesn't, you know? But you wasted so much time. You're like, no, no, it, happens, it has to happen this way or else I have to admit that I wasted my time. Look, dude. Even if you don't uh, quit, eventually you just lose interest or, you know, bad shit will happen. Trust me. Don't love the struggle more than you love the goal. If the goal is truly worth it, find a better way to do it. What I found out for myself many times in my life is that the goal wasn't even that important to me. It's something that I thought I should do, but I wasn't that passionate about it. Because goals that you're really passionate about from the gut, you tend to do them, even if it's hard, even if it's, it's scary, you tend to always try to find a way to do it. So the way you know that you're wasting your time is if you feel like your very gut is going against you. You know what I mean? Maybe... You know, there's fear and there's hardship, like, you know, anything worth, worth doing. But your gut not only is not pushing you forward, it's actually pushing you backwards and you have to fight yourself. And even if you manage to pull it off one day, the next day it's the same battle all over again. It doesn't get any easier. So use these as indications that you're loving the struggle more than the goal. And if that does happen to you, again, either change the way you do it but if you notice that you're not willing to change the way you do it it's probably a sign that it's not the right goal you should change your goal into something that will be naturally easy to do okay maybe hard but you'll naturally be inclined to do it okay and the result is always did i actually take action or not if you have any questions feel free to ask me thanks for watching